GUI Operating System An Introduction Grade 3 By the end of this session, you will understand Operating System and its Types Microsoft Windows Graphical User Interface, GUI Desktop and its Components Basic Operations on the Desktop Parts of a Window and setting wallpaper and screen saver. An operating system, or OS, is like a principal in a school who manages all the teachers, students, and other school staff. Just like the principal gives instructions for work to be done, an operating system also tells the computer how to work. It controls all the devices connected to the computer. It helps you communicate with the computer. It acts as an interface between you and the computer system. It helps us multitask and keep a track of all the programs we work on. Without an operating system, a computer is of no use. There are many types of operating systems available in the market. Microsoft Windows and Mac OS are the most commonly used operating systems. Linux and Unix are the operating systems that are available for free. There are two types of operating system, they are, single user operating system and multi user operating system. Single user operating system It allows only one user to log on to the computer at a time. It usually used at home and in schools. Microsoft Windows and Mac OS is popular single user operating system. Multi user operating system. It allows many people to use the same computer at a time. Here, one main computer is attached to many other computers. It is mostly used in big offices, hospitals, airports and other public places where a lot of people are required to access the same system linux and unix are examples of multi-user operating systems microsoft windows is one of the most popular operating systems the first microsoft operating system was developed in the 1980s and since then many versions have been released let us have a look at some versions. Windows 1.0 Windows 3.1 Windows 95 Windows XP Windows Vista Windows 7 Windows 8 Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 Graphical User Interface GUI Windows operating system is a graphical user interface or GUI. In GUI, you do not have to type text commands. Instead, you click the icons to give commands. Starting Windows When you switch on the computer, the operating system gets loaded into the computer's memory. The process of loading the operating system is called booting. The first screen you will see is the login screen. You need to type the password and press enter key. The screen that opens after entering is your desktop. Now, let us see desktop and its components. Desktop is the first screen you see after booting. All the icons are placed on the desktop where different programs run. Desktop consists of icons and a taskbar. Icons are little pictures displayed on a desktop that represent a program, file or folder. Desktop items are also called shortcuts. Common desktop icons PC icon It displays the content in the computer's hard disk. 
A hard disk is divided into partitions and is denoted by letters such as C drive, D drive, and E drive. It shows different icons for CD, or DVD, or a pen drive. Recycle bin. It stores your deleted files or folders. When you delete a file or folder, it is temporarily get stored in recycle bin. You can recover your file or folder from the recycle bin. But if you delete it from the recycle bin folder, it gets deleted permanently. File A file icon is a collection of information. Folder A folder is a collection of files. The taskbar is the bar displayed at the bottom of the Windows screen. It shows the programs that are running and allows you to switch between them. The programs may or may not be visible on the desktop. It has a start button, middle section, notification area, and show desktop button. Start button. The start button is present on the extreme left of the task bar. It's like the main gate to computers programs and folders. When you click this button, a list of programs appears. This is called the start menu. You can change computer's settings. Or shut down a computer from here. On the right side of the start menu you have tiles. Tiles can be added. Removed. Resized. And animated. The start menu also has three power options. Sleep. Shut down. And restart. Sleep option uses very little power and your PC starts up faster. Shut down option turns off the computer completely. And restart options turn off your PC and start it again. The middle section shows the opened programs and documents. Whenever you open a program, Windows creates a button on the task bar. You can pin your favorite programs such as Paint, PowerPoint etc. in the middle section. The notification icon is present on the right of the task bar. It displays a clock and a small group of icons. It displays the status of programs running on the computer. The Show Desktop button is a rectangular bar at the end of the task bar. Point to the Show Desktop button, open windows will fade from view and become transparent. Now move away mouse from the Show Desktop icon, the windows returns. You can shift the taskbar to any of the four sides on the screen. To do this, place the mouse pointer on the blank area of the taskbar. Drag the mouse to the left, right, or top of the screen. Release the mouse button. You can observe taskbar shifts to its new location. Arranging icons on the taskbar. On the taskbar, all of your active programs appear as individual icons. You can rearrange the icons in order that you want, by clicking and dragging them to the desired location. You can point to the taskbar button to see a live preview of its active windows. It is called Arrow Peak. Parts of a window. Every program opens in a window. A window is a rectangular screen with borders. The contents in every window are different but most parts are the same. You can open multiple windows when you work on a computer. Only one window is active at a time. The title bar is at the top of the window. It displays the name of the document. 
It also includes minimize, maximize, restore down, and close buttons. Minimize reduces the window to a button on the taskbar. Maximize button displays the full screen of the window. And, the close button closes the window. The ribbon appears below the title bar. It consists of tabs and groups. The work area is the area where the contents of the window are displayed. Scroll bars appear when the contents of the window cannot be seen at the same time. The horizontal scroll bar is at the bottom of the window. And vertical scroll bar is at the right of the window. The status bar provides information about the task being done. The background picture of your desktop is known as the wallpaper. To change the desktop background, right-click anywhere on the blank area on the desktop. Click the Personalize option from the drop-down menu. Settings dialog box appears. It shows the personalization window. From the background drop-down, choose an option. Browse the folder in the Choose Your Picture. To pick a desktop background, click the Save Changes option. Let us see how we can keep the drawing created in the Paint program as your desktop background. Open your drawing in the Paint program or create a new design and save it. Let us create a new design. Now, click the File menu and from the drop-down list select. Select the picture and right-click and choose Set as Desktop Background option. Setting Screensaver The screensaver is a moving picture or text on the desktop that you see when you do not work on a computer for some time. To stop the screensaver and return to the desktop, press any key or move the mouse. To set a screensaver, right-click anywhere on the blank area of the desktop. Click the Personalize option. Click lock screen. From personalization window. Now click screen saver settings. Select the type of screen saver you wish to keep under the screen saver option. Click OK. To change the color of the window. Choose the Colors option in the Personalization window. Choose a color. The color of Windows border will change. You can also change Windows borders, Start menu, and Task bar. Observe how to change it in the tutorial. Recap Windows operating system is a graphical user interface. The start button is present on the extreme left of the taskbar. The show desktop button is a rectangular bar at the very end of the taskbar. The background picture of your desktop is known as wallpaper. Screensaver is a moving picture or text on the desktop that you see when you do not work on the computer for some time.